Hey there, welcome back. Here are 10 things that you didn't know about the British Open. Number one, the British Open is the oldest golf tournament in the world. Hey, did you know the British Open, also known as the Open or the Open Championship, is the oldest golf tournament in the world? It was first played in 1860 at Prestwick Golf Club in Scotland. The tournament is now held annually at various golf courses in the UK. And it's one of the four major golf tournaments, along with the Masters Tournament, the PGA Championship, and the US Open. The British Open is a prestigious tournament, and it's often considered to be the most difficult of the four majors. The courses that host the Open are typically Lynx courses, which are characterized by their sandy soil and roiling terrain. These courses can be very challenging, especially in windy conditions. The British Open has a long history, and a storied history at that. Some of the greatest golfers in history have won the tournament, including Tom Watson, Jack Nicklaus, Tiger Woods, Rory McElroy. The Open is truly unique and a special event, and it's one of the highlights of the golf calendar. Number two, the British Open is always held in the UK. The British Open is a golf tournament that's been held every year since 1860, except during the two world wars. The tournament has always been held in the UK. Currently 14 different courses in Scotland, England, and Northern Ireland host the tournament on a rotational basis. The old course at St. Andrews has hosted the most championships, with 30 in total. The reason why the British Open is always held in the UK is because it's administered by the Royal Court in the ancient golf club of St. Andrews, which is based in Scotland. The RNA is the governing body of golf outside the US and Mexico, and it always has been their policy to hold the British Open in the UK. There have been a few exceptions to this rule. In 1951 and 2019, the British Open was held in Northern Ireland. Finally, the British Open is a major economic boon for the UK. The tournament attracts millions of spectators and generates millions of pounds in revenue. It's a major source of tourism for the country, and it helps to promote the UK as a golfing destination. Number 3. The Claret Jug The Claret Jug is the trophy for the British Open. It's a silver trophy that is 20.75 inches tall and it weighs 5.5 pounds. It's named after the Claret wine that was served in similar jugs in the 1800s. The Claret Jug is awarded to the winner of the British Open every year. The winner keeps the trophy for one year and then is returned to the Royal and Ancient Golf Club of St. Andrews. The original Claret Jug was awarded from 1872 to 1927. In 1928, a new Claret Jug was commissioned. The new jug is a replica of the original, but it's made of a slightly different type of silver. The new Claret Jug has been awarded to the winner of the British Open every year since 1928. So, yeah. I also like to share some interesting facts about the Claret Jug with you, if you don't mind. The name Claret Jug was actually suggested by a journalist, not the Royal and Ancient Golf Club. Which is just a fun name, the Royal and Ancient Golf Club. Fun, fun. The first name engraved on the Claret Jug was young Tom Morris, who won the Open in 1872. However, the trophy wasn't ready in time for him to receive it, so the first person to actually receive the Claret Jug was Tom Kidd, who won the Open in 1873. The Claret Jug has been used as a prop in several movies, including Caddyshack and Happy Gilmore. Well, the Claret Jug is one of the most famous trophies in golf, and it's a dream for many golfers to win it. Number 4. The Oldest and Youngest Winner of the British Open Tom Morris Sr., also known as Old Tom Morris, is the oldest winner of the British Open. He won the tournament in 1867 at the age of 46 years, 102 days. His son, young Tom Morris, is the youngest winner of the British Open, winning at the age of 17 years, 156 days. Tom Morris Sr. was a Scottish golfer who is considered one of the pioneers of the sport. He was the first person to win the British Open four times, and he's also credited with inventing the Gata Percha golf ball. He was a dominant force in golf in the 19th century, and his achievements helped to popularize the sport around the world. In 1867, Morris Sr. won the British Open at Prestwick Golf Club. He shot a score of 170, which was two strokes better than Willie Park Sr. and his son, Tom Morris Jr. This was Morris Sr.'s fourth British Open victory, and it came at the age of 46. He's still the oldest winner of the tournament to this day. Number 5. Prestwick, the birthplace of the British Open Prestwick Golf Club is the second most played course in British Open history, hosting the championship 24 times. It was originally chosen to host the Open because it was one of the few courses in Scotland that was open to the public. The course is still very challenging today, and it's a great place to experience the history of the game. Prestwick has a long and storied history with the British Open. 
It hosted the first 12 Opens from 1860 to 1871, and then again from 1872 to 1925. This means that Prestwick hosted the Open for more years than any other course, except for the old course at St. Andrews. The first Open Championship was held at Prestwick in 1860, and the course was designed by old Tom Morris, one of the most famous golf course architects in history. Prestwick is located in Ayrshire, Scotland, which is also known as the birthplace of golf. Number 7. The British Open is a great way to learn about golf. The British Open is a fantastic way to learn about golf because it's the oldest major golf tournament in the world and it's played on Lynx courses, which are a type of golf course that are unique to the British Isles. The field of players in the British Open is always very, very strong, so you can see some of the best golfers in the world compete. The tournament is always well organized and the atmosphere is electric. This makes it a great experience for both spectators and television viewers. Specifically, you can learn about the different types of shots that golfers need to make in order to be successful. The importance of course management and strategy, the different ways that golfers can handle the challenges of Lynx courses, and the mental toughness that it takes to win a major championship. Number 8. The Most Open Championship Victories by a Single Player The most open championship victories by a singular player is six, which is shared by Jack Nicklaus and Tom Watson. Nicklaus and Watson are two of the greatest golfers of all time, and they've both won the Open Championship multiple times. Nicholas won six championships between 1966 and 1978, while Watson won his six Open Championships between 1975 and 1983. Number 9. The Lowest Winning Score The lowest winning score in Open Championship history is 264, which was achieved by Henrik Stenson in 2016 at Royal Troon. He finished the tournament at 20 under par, which is also the lowest score in relation to par. Stenson's record was matched by Cameron Smith in 2022 at the Old Course at St. Andrews. Number 10. Most Attended Major Golf Tournament in the World The Open Championship is the most attended major golf tournament in the world, with an average attendance of over 230,000 spectators. The Open Championship is a truly global event, and it attracts spectators from all over the world. The tournament is also very popular with television viewers, and it's often the most watched sporting event in the United Kingdom. If you're a fan of golf, I highly recommend watching the British Open. It's a great way to see some of the best golfers in the world compete on some of the most challenging and unpredictable courses in the world. We are eager to hear your thoughts, so let us know in the comment section down below which of these facts you are already familiar with and which ones you like the most. Don't forget to hit that like button and motivate our work even further. We hope you enjoyed discovering these intriguing insights with us, and stay tuned for another fascinating video coming your way. Okay, bye.